Um, yeah. Okay, so this is Murphy. Today is Tuesday, March 12th. Murphy has bilateral hip dysplasia and a ruptured ACL. His right hip is worse than his left. His ACL rupture is on the left. Obvious lameness. He's having a really hard time getting up at home. He's very painful. Um, he will walk with his mom, but he prefers not to. So you can see he's obviously lame on both legs today. He fell on Sunday, which was March 10th. So he's here today to get some stem cell therapy. Max has some degenerative joint changes in his right hip, according to the x-rays, but just dysplasia in the left hip. Dysplasia is going to lead to degenerative joint changes, but he doesn't really have any in his left hip right now. If people don't understand that hip dysplasia doesn't mean arthritis, but it will lead to arthritis. So we are going to put the stem cells into both hips, and our hope, my hope is to prevent a lot of further changes at all in his left hip and to correct and repair some of the changes in his right hip. So that's what we're doing with the hips. And then we're going to inject into both stifles. Again, his right stifle I'm injecting is kind of a my own kind of preventative type thing, see if I can keep that as healthy as possible. Since he did fall and we're not sure if he did something, maybe a little tear or a little partial sprain in his, his right stifle. He does not have a ruptured ACL, but he could have still twisted it a little bit. And then in the in the left one where we know he's already been diagnosed with a ruptured ACL, we'll inject stem cells and stem cells have the ability to repair ligaments and tendons and muscle and cartilage. So we're gonna put those cells directly into the stifle joint and have them do their magic on his ligaments. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some some of Murphy's own platelet rich plasma onto the incision line. It's full of platelets of course and tissue growth factors, tissue healing factors, tissue regeneration factors. It also calls other cells to the area. So, Any more than that? Or? Nope, that's good. So it's wonderful stuff. I love it. Most of the dogs that I've done my procedure on, you can't find a scar. The owners will come back and go, we can't find where you did it. Once the hair grows back, we look for the scar. We can't find it. So this is the adipose tissue with the, um, the enzymes actually added to it before we uh, put it into the water bath. Um, and then we'll wait 15 minutes and uh, we'll see what it looks like in there. So, we're about halfway through the, uh, um, the water bath process. You can see that it keeps getting a bit more broken down, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we're looking for. So, go ahead and invert it, stir it up a bit, um, and put it in there for another 15 minutes. So after centrifuging, um, the digested adipose tissue. You can see we're kind of separated it into uh, a few different layers. So the, the stem cells are actually down here. So we're going to go ahead and take, um, suck that up and this up with a syringe. So next we are going to filter what we have here so that uh, we get any big um, pieces of the fat out of the way um, and make it safer to actually do for IV injection. After centrifuging for another 10 minutes, you can see what we're left with. So that's what we're looking for is the cell pellet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove the majority of the uh, supernatant off the top. Um, just trying to make it as concentrated as possible. After centrifuging it for the last time, that is our, our pellet there. So oh, wow. So once again, we're going to remove the majority of the supernatant liquid. Um, and then go ahead and add the uh, platelet-rich plasma to our sample. That's 
it's the light like that. Right. Because the stem cells themselves are in like a little, it's called a pellet, it's like really only that big. So you have to reconstitute them and we use the dog's play leverage plasma to reconstitute so that it, we can get it big enough to inject it and bank some cells. So platelet rich plasma has a ton of healing factors also that work pretty quickly so it really is an anti-inflammatory itself the PRP. It's called PRP. Because right here is his joint. So I feel for what's called the greater trochanter and then I walk my needle down here and then you direct the needle to straight towards the spine. His right hip is worse than his left. His ACL rupture is on the left. Obvious lameness. This is Murphy, 30 days post. Let's see your mama. Murphy got up really well off the tile floor. Murphy fell again last week. Come on, Murphy. He's doing better and he's not on any medication today. The left rear has the ruptured ACL. As you can see, he's walking really well on that. Oh, Murphy, we're so glad.